There is mystery in every new life, and new parents look forward to all of their child's firsts, the first smile, the first words, the first steps. What will he or she grow up to be? They wonder. But for too many parents, their hopes and aspirations are dashed by something unforeseen, tragic, and completely preventable. In 2012. An estimated 6.6 million children under the age of five died, mainly in resource-poor countries. Nearly half of those deaths, 45 percent, were attributed to undernutrition. For every child who perishes from undernutrition, many more never achieve their full growth and development potential. A staggering 162 million children under five were affected by stunting in 2012 alone. Stunting cannot be cured, but it can be prevented. In 2012, the World Health Assembly set a global target to reduce the numbers of stunted children by 40% by the year 2025. If achieved, that would mean 70 million children more. On their way to a strong and healthy adulthood, the journey to achieve that target begins with understanding some basic questions. So, what is stunting? Stunting is the impaired growth and development that children experience because of poor nutrition, repeated infection, and inadequate opportunities to play and learn. The World Health Organization, or WHO. Has developed standards that describe normal child growth and are applicable to all children, regardless of ethnicity, socioeconomic status, and type of feeding. According to these standards, children are said to be stunted if their height is low in relation to their age. Scientific evidence has shown that stunting in early life. Especially in the first 1,000 days from conception until the age of two, has negative consequences for the child's physical and mental development. Stunting followed by excessive weight gain in later childhood leads to increased risk of overweight and adult life nutrition-related chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and some cancers. Most parents understand the importance of good nutrition for babies, but they may not know that stunting begins in the womb before the baby is born. For example, a study of Malawian children found that by the time they reached three years of age, they were 10 centimeters shorter than the WHO child growth standard median. 20% of that deficit was already present at birth. 20% occurred between birth and six months of age, 50% between six and 24 months, and the last 10% occurred between ages two and three years. Linear growth, meaning growth in height, in early childhood is a strong marker of healthy growth. It is associated with morbidity and mortality risk, non-communicable diseases in later life, learning capacity. Educational performance, adult wages, and economic productivity. How do you prevent stunting? An adequate intake of nutritious foods, prevention and treatment of infections, and opportunities for social interaction, play, and learning are among the factors that can help a child achieve their full potential for growth and development.